Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on this white vampy look right here. This is a look that was inspired by Miss Bailey Sarian. This is the look right here and I actually saw Raw Beauty Christy recreated on her channel a couple of weeks a uh, month ago and I was and I saw it and I was just like, I want to do that look too because it looks so, so, so cool. It's it's simple, but it's just really cool. <laughs> that's the best way I can describe it. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. This is how it came out and how it looks on me. So if you want to see how I did it, then please stay on and keep on watching. All right, so the very first thing that I'm gonna do is just moisturize the skin to prep it for makeup. And for that, I am using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. After that, we're gonna prep and prime the skin. So we're gonna be using the Beauty Creations Poreless Face Primer. And I just love how this primer basically just like smooths out my pores. And then after that, I'm going to add the Elemis Superfood Glow Priming Moisturizer, which is just going to help add a little bit of glow to my skin underneath that foundation. And then for foundation, I'm going to be mixing two different ones, only because uh, one of them is too dark for me and the other one's too light. And together, they just... <laughs> That's how I make them work. So I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation mixed in with the L'Oreal 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Both of those, uh, by the way, are some of my favorite drugstore foundations ever. They just have like beautiful, beautiful finishes. Now for concealer, I'm also gonna be using two different kinds. Again, just to get the color that I want. Uh, first, I'm gonna go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I'm gonna go under the eyes and then on the outer corner of the eye, just to kind of like lift the face there. Um, my face is on the um, rounder side. I have big cheeks, okay? <laughs> so anything that helps me lift everything up, I will take so that's why I'm adding that concealer right there and then I'm adding a little bit more coverage to the sides of the nose and on the sides of the mouth just to add a light to the very center of the face and then the center of the forehead as well and from there I just start blending everything out I am using the real techniques miracle powder sponge And now we're setting everything in place using the Ciate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. Just going over those areas where I applied that concealer first and then just any excess on, that's on the sponge, I'm gonna dab that out to the rest of the face. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more powder to the under eyes to bake that area and the chin and the center of the forehead too. Now we're gonna bronze up the face. I am using the BH Cosmetics Studio Pro Contour and Highlight Palette. I love this palette. As you can tell, it's well loved. So I'm going on the sides of the cheeks and then the temples and then doing the same thing, of course, on the other side. And then I switched to a smaller, denser brush than the one that I used previously. And I went in with a little bit of a darker color than the one that I used um, before. And I, I applied that all the way, like far back on the cheek. And then I'm using that same brush to bronze up the sides of the nose and then contouring the nose, just going in with a more precise angled brush to do that. Once that's defined, I'm gonna go back with that same baking powder and baking the sides of the nose and then I'm also baking and cutting the cheeks baking a little bit of the chin as well a little bit more 
and from there we're gonna move on to the brows and I'm using the CoverGirl ultra fine brow pencil in the shade rich brown I'm just gonna fill out those brows and because Bailey's brows are very strong she has like very strong facial features I'm adding a little bit more product than usual and I'm also gonna do a higher arch to my brows just like she has And after that, to really clean up the brows, I'm gonna go in with a small flat brush and some concealer and just clean up the area underneath the brows, which will make the brows super defined. And at the same time, because the concealer is super light, it's also gonna highlight and bring forward the brow bone too. So once the brows are done, I'm taking a large fluffy brush and just brushing off all of that excess powder from baking. And now we're gonna move on to blush. And on this look, she's not doing much with blush. So I went into the Alamar Cosmetics Colorette Blush Trio and I used this color right here just because I thought this tone would look super pretty with this look and I added it to the outside of my cheeks not so much to the apples of the cheeks so just brushing it lightly in that upper area and with that let's move on to the exciting part the eyes and the first thing that I'm gonna do to really make that white color pop is start with a cream base so I'm using the NYX Cosmetics Jumbo Eye Pencil in white and adding that all over my lid from the inner corner of the eye all the way to the outer corner and up until you reach your crease and once you reach the crease that's where you're gonna stop and then you're gonna blend that using your fingers so there's no like blobs of product just to smooth everything out And then on top of that, I'm gonna take some eyeshadow to set that cream product in place and to make that white color pop even more. And then with a fluffy brush, I'm just gonna buff out those edges. And then I noticed that Bailey actually took that white color all the way to the brow bone, so I'm doing that too. And then using a dense packer brush, I'm taking that white shadow all over the lower lash line to of course just match what's going on on the lid. And because it wasn't popping as much on the lower lash line as I wanted to, um, I added some of that cream white color too with a NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. And then using the brush to buff that out. So here I'm just taking that same white color all the way to the top, but on the other eye. And then we're gonna do the hardest part out of all of this, the black <laughs> eyeliner. And the eyeliner that I'm using is the L'Oreal Paris Carbon Black Felt Tip Liquid Eyeliner. And we're gonna just be doing a winged liner. And of course the hard part of this comes because you have a white uh, quote unquote background and you're doing black on top so you have to be extra precise like any shakiness is gonna show and of course I wasn't precise and you'll see that but I can also <laughs> show you how to fix your problems if you run into any so like right here I messed up the bottom part of the liner so what I'm gonna do is use the same flat brush that I used to clean up my brows to clean up the bottom area of that liner with concealer and because when you do this 
you you you're basically wiping the white eyeshadow that you had done underneath you're gonna have to reapply that but that's okay just remain patient <laughs> and it'll all turn out okay And then my liner was kind of like running out of juice, so I switched to the ABH liquid eyeliner. But of course, it doesn't matter which liner you use as long as it's super black and, and it's the one that you think is easier for you, for you to work with. So once the struggle of the liner was done, I moved on to mascara. I'm adding that to the lower lash list. And then for my top lashes, I'm adding some falsies. And I thought of these lashes. I knew I wanted to use these. These are the Every Lashes in the style Happy Hour. And they did just what I wanted them to do. They just brought the whole look together. They're kind of like spiky. And I don't know, in a way, I thought they would match perfectly with this look. And then I'm just going back with mascara to just marry my real lashes to the fake ones. So now to bring the whole look together and just get a really pretty glow finish, I spritzed my whole face using the iconic London Prep Set and Glow Mist and just patting that down with my sponge. And once I did that, I actually forgot one of the most important parts, <laughs> highlight, because her highlight in that photo is so bright. So I went in with a denser brush that I'm, than what I would normally use because I really wanted this highlight to pop like hers does. So I used the Milani Cosmetics Strobe Light Instant Glow Powder in the shade Afterglow. And I applied it right at the highest point of my cheekbones so when I would turn it would just hit you and you would just see it and I loved how it turned out and I'm adding that highlight on top of the arch of the brow too that temple area right there just going by the picture and making the highlighter super noticeable there too now for the lips I love this part because the color that she used is just beautiful i loved it uh like from far away it kind of looks black but it isn't it's just like a super dark plum so she used the mac retro matte liquid lip color in uniformly fabulous i don't have that uh lipstick but i do have a color that's very if not pretty much the same <laughs> and it's the milani cosmetics amour matte lip creme in the shade magnificent And because she added a gloss on top of that, I'm going to do that too. I used my KAB Cosmetics Lip Oil in the shade Rum Punch. And with lips in place, that ladies and gentlemen, is the entire look complete. Again, this was inspired by Miss Bailey Sarian's vampy lips and simple eyes makeup look. I saw Robbie Christie do it and I really wanted to recreate it because I thought it was, again, a beautiful, simple, but very, really, a really cool look. I really hope you like it. Let me know what you think. If you did like it, don't forget to hit that like button right below and subscribe to my channel because I'd love to have you. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, any looks you'd like me to recreate, also let me know. Thank you so much for watching and being here. Take care and hopefully I will see you right here on my next video. Bye guys!